Hi there, Geminis. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl. We're looking at January 1st through January 7th. And Happy New Year, Geminis. Welcome to the dawn of yet another year. However, New Year's Eve wasn't always celebrated on the 31st, and New Year's Day wasn't always celebrated on the 1st. Looking back through ancient records dating back 4,000 years tell us that the beginning of the year was originally linked to the stars. There's also a surprising reveal that the new year didn't always begin January 1st. In ancient Babylon, the first day of the new year was in March or April because it was based on the first new moon after the spring equinox. That's why so many people start their astrological readings with, uh, with Aries because they're the first spring sign. In Egypt, the new year was observed in mid-July and coincided with the rising of the fixed star Sirius. And for thousands of years, Lunar New Year has occurred in either late January or February on the second new moon after the winter solstice. The first time the new year was celebrated on January 1st was in 46 BCE, when Julius Caesar instituted his very own version of a calendar, the Julian calendar, the one that we use today. Now the first day of 2018 starts off on a very high note indeed, with a Cancer full moon that's also a super moon, and that's transiting your second house of money, self-worth and self-esteem. A super moon is a full or new moon that's on its closest trajectory to Earth. If a supermoon is also a full moon like this one, it can appear up to 7% larger and 16% brighter. So it's really something to get a look at. So make sure that you look out your window and have a look at that supermoon. Definitely time to tap into the energy of that moon too. Besides being super, this full moon is graced by two trines, one from Neptune and another from Mars, energizing the ocean tides as well as giving rise to our inner emotional tides. The energy shifts in a different direction on Tuesday, January 2nd, when Uranus, the planet of the unexpected, moves direct in your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes, and friendship. Something that you didn't think was going to happen in maybe late December finally looks like it is going to happen. Uranus's change to forward movement is a subtle but important reminder that it's time to wake up the inner rebel that's been sleeping for the last five months. If you're looking for a good day to make a big change, the best day of this week is Saturday, January 6, because that's when power-wielding Mars in Scorpio hitches its considerable strength to Jupiter's lucky wagon, also in Scorpio, which is a really good matchup for you. This conjunction is a special opportunity that needs to be handled with care because if you can't keep all that firepower under control, you could end up not receiving your fair share of it, Geminis. Thanks so much for tuning in and I do look forward to speaking to you again next week.